Oh, is going to have to make a bit of a decision here. I do still believe it is Lane Peterson's job to lose at the end of the day. They signed him to a contract. The other I think guys it's Lavoie's. Yes. What did I say? Peterson? Peterson. As a fourth line sentiment, though. That's what I mean. But if you're going to keep him, you got to wave Lavoie. So it's just, I, suppose. I don't think Lane Peterson's done enough to sit here and go, I think waving Lavoie is a smart move. Yeah. I think fair. it's Lavoie. I would not be the least bit surprised if the O's are going 11 and 7 on night one yeah. of the regular season. And. Maybe it's Lavoie healthy scratch. Maybe it's Derek Ryan healthy scratch. But I think he's going to be up with the big club to start. They'll go 12 forward, 70, two goalies. Do you think it's fair to say none of them have done a good enough job to really crack this roster or force you to make a decision? Let's let's push that off to the side okay. because we're going to get into that a little bit more with our pal Bruce Kerlock, who has mm. been following and studying the preseason incredibly in depth. And he's going to be much better at giving us a breakdown of what's been going on the ice or what's been going on on the ice for the Edmonton Oilers. Let's dig into the YouTube chat for the day. The YouTube chat is brought to you by our friends at Century Mile Racetrack and Casino. We'll have a little bit on that when we get to our weekend wrap in a bit. Um, but Rusty is in. Our boy says Gazdick is awesome. Love his pod. We love him too. Yeg Loyalty Gazer, is he on an ONPTO or a contract? I think we're going to have him as a guest all year. I think that's been decided. Yes. Sergeant Battle says the Flames lost to the Condors, LMAO. They pretty much did. <laughs> there was like five NHLers in that roster. They lost to Dylan Holloway, having the best game he's had in an Oilers uniform. Yeah. He was so good. So good. 